Hey, what's good? It's your boy E. Sheila with Seismic Media coming to you with another color grading tutorial. Let's go! Um, sorry for the audio. I've moved, as you can tell, so I'm in a different location and my setup ain't where it needs to be right now. So, you know, you gotta forgive me. Um, today I'm gonna be color grading some footage that I just kind of went and shot with my boy TJ Fillmore and was testing the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Not the 4K, but the original one. I picked it up, I sold my Sony A6300 because I really like how Blackmagic like color science works and I just like that look. So that's, moving forward, that's the look I wanna go with. So I picked up the Pocket Camera and a bunch of accessories um, for the difference. And you know, this is some of what I've been shooting with it. I'm um, just kind of testing it out. Um, First, I'm going to start off, um, I shot this in RAW on um, 1080p, so I'm going to go into the camera RAW settings, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on high, high, Highlight Recovery. As you can see, when I click that, you can get a little bit more detail in the sky because it, it's RAW sensor data that it actually picked up that, you know, it didn't clip, but without turning that on, you really wouldn't see that. And you can even see on the scope here that when I clicked it, like, levels go up a little bit, you know, there's just data that I'm still able to recover because this camera shoots in raw it's beast of a little camera even though it's what eight years old seven years old now all right but first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a couple more nodes on this first node what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of get my exposure right so I'm gonna go to my second tab and i'm gonna bring this down until You know, I get my darks almost to zero. I don't want to crush them too much right now. And then also, because I overexposed, uh, well, exposed to the right, per se, on this, I'm going to bring my highlights down a little bit. Get them about right here. So it's cool for this first step. So now I'm kind of seeing the exposure a little bit. On the second tab, second note, I'm gonna go into the RGB mixer and I'm gonna bring my saturation back a little bit. So already we can kind of see it's starting to look good. It's starting to shape up a little bit. Skin tones kind of where they need to be. But as I can see, like right over here in the scope, it's a little bit of blue that I kind of don't want in there. So on this next note, what I'm gonna do is come back over here to the color wheel and in my gain, I'm gonna kind of pull this down a little bit, but now I'm kind of seeing a little green in the skin tone, so I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit in the green. And I think that's about where I want it. Now, I'm gonna play with the curves a little bit, to kind of give it the look that I'm really looking for. Crush the blacks a little bit. I'm gonna bump up the mid-tones. So over here a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I'm kind of crush the blacks a little bit but I'm gonna bring up the black level so that it's almost like kind of like that washed out faded film look uh, she's starting to get that right up in there all right cool so on this fourth node I'm gonna come to my hue versus saturation curve and what I want to do is I want to get a little bit more red popping in here I'm gonna bump up my red channel like right up in here so you can see those skin tones starting to pop without it with it with it yeah right here I like that I'm gonna do a little bit more to the green as well uh, not really a whole lot of green in here I guess you know it's that time of year but uh, it's cool all right now nah, got that now nah, what I'm about to do is I'm about to create another note 
and I'm about to kind of push a little bit of teal orange into it and I just showed you my other color tutorial color grading tutorials you know in the shadows kind of pull it a little bit towards the teal in the shadows and then in the game kind of push it just a little bit I really don't want my sky to kind of look beige I tend to do that when I do it too much in game but in gamma I'm gonna kind of push this a little bit towards the orange color before and after uh, before nah I actually don't like that so I'm gonna delete this note right, come in I'm gonna create a new note Trying to do a really quick color grade for you guys who not don't have a whole lot of time, but I want to kind of just show you like what I'm doing with some of my footage, especially some of this Black Magic Raw footage. Um, let's see if I can get into the shadows a little bit. And pull it down. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm doing it in gamma. Ah, but it's still giving me that it's coloring. It's really coloring that sky. I don't like that. Um, you know, completely reset this node. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna just bump up the saturation a little bit. gamma towards the teal side because I think it's a little bit too red especially with it being this time of the year so even leaves brown the trees brown everything's looking a little too bleh but I'm gonna pull this gamma towards this teal some but the skin tone still giving me a little bit of that red I think I, I like how that look it's gonna play real choppy because it's in raw so I'll just kind of bear with it shooting this the black magic pocket camera and I got it on the Zoom Crane 2 with the follow focus. So I was still able to focus while I actually moving. I really like that feature. My boy TJ. He's rocking the Ronin. The M, I believe. Then that's the Sony A6300. No, the A6500. Well, yeah. With the Sigma 18-35. Fucking love that lens. I gotta give me one of them. If only it wasn't like 800 bucks. I swear I'd grab that. But you know, it's all good. <laughs> Playing super choppy. Computer really can't handle that raw footage, but yeah, I kind of like how this looks. Especially for like a real quick color grade. I'm gonna come up in the first node and I'm gonna play with these curves a little bit. See if I can get a little bit more contrast out of the sky. Maybe if I could. kind of pulling some of that little contrast into the sky um, let me show you like a before and after on that note yeah I like how that look and this is going to be a before and after this was the raw footage and this is the color graded footage graded and corrected but again you know we grade the taste not doing anything crazy so I only got five nodes of course I didn't do like any color isolation but you know it's cool especially if we're doing something like on social media we throwing this on YouTube or Instagram real quick it'd be a dope little quick grade give it the 2.35 bars and bam it's a wrap of a real quick color grade, I think that was what, five minutes? 
Hope y'all enjoy it. And look, if you like my color grade tutorials, um, less of a tutorial, more of like a quick color grade example, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Man, support the channel. I'm trying to grow this thing. And again, it's E. Sheely with Seismic Media, and I'm out.